Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to the Fashion Bunker. Today I will be sharing with you something special. My entire Louis Vuitton bag collection. This is gonna be a doozy. So first subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, push the join button next to the subscription button. Become a member today and gain access to extra perks. You can also join me on Patreon. Super Jacob all spelled together there for extra perks as well. Thank you to all my members and patrons who have already pledged. This video is being filmed live in front of a live virtual audience. So I live stream every Saturday. And you're all welcome to join the live chats and the conversation. Uh, I have my co-chatters in the in the chats on the sidebar here. I will be reading them from time to time, but let's get straight to it, y'all. Oh boy. Okay. So, you know, I'm a huge fan of Louis Vuitton monogram. So if you're not into monogram, bye. Tune out right now. Otherwise, stick around. And if you're not into monogram, I might just change your mind about the monogram and you might just end up liking it in the end. So but this is my entire Louis Vuitton collection. Let's begin with the biggins. With the biggins, honey. Okay, let's begin with Tabitha. I call my Keep All 50 Tabitha. It does come with um, straps, with a bandolier. It does come with a little lock here. I mean, it comes, it comes with a lock as well, but it comes with a little leather bit here with its tag. I take all that stuff off when I store it. Um... So I'm just showing it to you in a simplified form right now. Now, Tabitha has been with me around the world, everywhere. In fact, we also travel to Melbourne, Australia. Wonderful bag. Uh, keep all 50. And I do prefer it to the 45 when it comes to, like, bigger travel. Um, it's very sturdy. Now, Tabitha is still in the patina phase. So I am very, very careful because I want these uh, straps to get a nice little juicy patina before you know it rains on it before it gets all the stains from the water and what have you but for now uh tabitha is still very young because i also bought tabitha this year i bought tabitha in july uh, of this year so tabitha from uh, the louis vuitton store brand new i mean kind of people don't really buy key balls new nowadays everybody buys them used because they are much cheaper used i guess with the price increases all the time by the way louis vuitton just had another price increase so things went up again like 40 50 bucks so annoying anyway that was one now moving to the next one let me see on my list oh yes now if it's not a key ball it's a speedy I have a Speedy 30 in my collection. The Speedy 30 is the love of my life. I think this is the best size. Now, you know, the 40, they don't make them anymore unless you don't order the Heritage 40, in which case you have to put like your initials on it or something. I don't want anything printed on mine. So yeah, it's kind of hard to get the 40. Um, the 35 is something that I was contemplating. I actually got one this year, uh, but then I brought it back because it was really in bad condition. And then I inspected like three or did they have four? 35 speedies in the boutique they were in the shop they were all bad all had flaws uh but i got this one last year okay so this one is from 2021 the speedy 30 uh, which i called beulah <laughs> uh, it is a beauty now you know for those people who uh, claim that a speedy is a basic bag just go do yourself a favor google um audrey hepburn and her speedy 25 it was a slightly different size back then but and it's so beautiful because you see it age with her as she ages she's always using it and so the patina on the straps changes with time and the speedy becomes so beautiful after so many years of use and audrey hepburn is like the epitome of uh, elegance and style and class nothing basic about her so anyway the speedy is the love of my life and i the speedy 30 proportion wise is the best for me uh, although I am looking into getting a 35 as well uh, but you know the only issue with the 30 is that once you unzip it the opening is a little bit small right with the 35 you have that little bit that wiggle room just to kind of open a bit more because it turns very round but little you know you think oh this is a long length but then once you're kind of opening it like this it's it's more compact. So that's the only thing, like bigger the bag and the better it is to, to open it when it comes to speedies, right? But as uh, proportion wise, the 30 is the best proportion wise, just the way it looks and it doesn't sag as much as the bigger ones, although I don't mind the sagging, but they do sag once they're filled 
with things. Um, so that's that. Then, of course, from the 50, we moved to the third, well, to the 50 keep all, 30. Yeah. Speedy. There's a micro speedy as well. This is also in my collection. Uh, this particular cutie is called Tallulah. So we got Tabitha, Beulah, and Tallulah. Those are the three sisters or brothers, or we don't we don't know their gender. They're just bags. But um, so this one uh, is kind of like a little memory moment that I got while I was in Melbourne. And wait, what do I have in here? <laughs> I stuffed it with a sock. I never used sock, by the way, to keep its shape. So uh, <laughs> Tallulah is adorable. Uh, and it's not a practical thing. This is just really a gimmick, but my love of speedies kind of made me made me do it. Uh, and yeah, it went up in price as well. So I got it in the nick of time. And a little memory of being in Melbourne, in Australia. It was kind of the only purchase, the only big purchase I made in Australia was this bag, which is ridiculous, but that's me. It's great to carry a sock, says Styling Secret. Yes, and I have, and just one. Only one sock fits in here, not for... <laughs> Not a pair, just one sock. It can fit two scarab earrings, though. Yes, madame, it can. All right, now moving to the next uh, bag in my collection on my list. The Poche Document. Here it is, you guys. This one is not in production anymore, unfortunately. And... Um, in this size in particular, and it used to be lined in leather in the past. Um, they don't do it anymore. Now, when you buy the Poche Document now, which maybe has a different name, it has a microfiber lining inside or some synthetic lining, but not leather. Not that I know, uh, but this particular really, really big one, they don't make it anymore in this size. They're a little bit smaller now and not lined in leather. So, but this is back, you know, way back when. Has its stamp, so I, this one is from so long ago, 2012. 10 years old now. Who would, who would, wow, go figure. It's already 10 years ago, you guys. Amazing. Amazing. The zipper, love the fact that it goes all around, almost all around, right? Because by doing so, it's so easy to, to open. So I stuff it with paper just to keep it, you know, nice, prim and proper. I give it a little bit of, of fullness. And then it has on the side also this. I, I do not know if the smaller. So Andrew is asking if the smaller fits a MacBook Pro. I don't have the smaller one. So I, I don't know. Yeah, you would have to check the measurements on the Louis Vuitton website to, to find out if the size uh, is Correct. Um, but um, then now, OK, so the next bags, I consider them bags just because we've seen so many people, you know, wear them as bags. They are considered technically toiletry pouches. But hey, Lady Diana wore it as a clutch and Mark Jacobs also wore it as a clutch. So you guessed it. It's the Poche Toilette 26. So it is a, now it's been discontinued in this simplified form, like it's OG form, which is just monogram canvas all around and just a little bit of leather here. Now they make them more expensive with added leather parts, compartments, interior with uh, pockets and all that stuff. But I like the OG, the first one. Um, I have several <laughs> doubles. I, I just love them to bits. So the Poche Toilette 26 is also in my collection, as well as the Poche Toilette 19. So you can see the difference. And of course, the trifecta Poche Toilette 15 as well. So we got all three. These are the three sizes that were in production. They are amazing. The loves of my life. I thoroughly enjoy them. Now, the 19 I don't use as much. 15 I use the most. And the 26 is really, really good for travel. Or when you're out and about in the city, but like you, you're going to have to keep it under your armpit or something. So you're going to kind of not 
have one hand really available. So you have to really have a easy going brunchy type of thing to do on the town if you're going to take this one as a clutch. Uh, otherwise, if you need both hands and you're running and doing big errands, take a bag with a strap, I, I would recommend. Uh, but this little fella is always with me in every bag I carry around. I always put it inside. I have my tissues in here, you know, painkillers, uh, cards, all sorts of things. So all three of these are amazing. Unfortunately, all three in their simple forms discontinued. The 15 is completely gone. Like you can't even get it. Also the 19, you can't even get it in other materials. Maybe in denim, but that was last season. I'm not so sure if they still have it now. Uh, the other bag that I that I have in my collection is the Trousse Toilette 25. Yes, this is another toiletry pouch, but it can also be a, a clutch. Now, I don't put toiletries in this anymore. I put them in another bag that I'm going to show you a little bit later. Uh, my so what I when I travel and what I what this is really good for is a quick change, a so-called quick change. So what I have in here when I travel is an extra t-shirt just in case. Like, for example, when I was flying to Melbourne and it was, you know, like 20 hours, 26 hours flight, it was insane, you know. So kind of I had extra underwear, extra t-shirt, extra socks. Maybe I put in like, you know, painkillers or aspirin or something if I needed, but then that's kind of... This is what this is for, not for creams and toothpaste, makeup and all that stuff. No, this is literally for extra, like, let's say you're traveling for really that long and you don't have to dig through your bag to find, where's my t-shirt? Where's my underwear? Where are my socks? No, it's all in here. This is the compartment for that. Um, love it for that. But you can also wear it as a clutch out on the town once you arrive at to, to your destination. So there's that one. Now where I leave, where I put all my makeup, and this bag is awesome. This is the packing cube, uh, the MM, the medium model, the, the medium size model. Um, I have a lot of stuff in here. <laughs> so this is the packing cube. It is the best thing in the world. Honestly, I use it every day, every single day. The medium size is the best because it fits uh, all I need. It has my perfume in here, my eye makeup, my uh, blush, uh, lipstick. I even have uh, dent, um, what's it called? Um, dental floss, a lot of stuff all my brushes, everything. And this travels with me wherever I go. Uh, it also moves with me through the apartment. If I have to get ready to go out, I always have this. Either goes with me in the bedroom, into the bathroom, into the living room. It kind of like literally lives with me on a constant basis. It's it's just amazing. This is this has been the the most practical purchase from Louis Vuitton that I've that I've I also got this this year by the way, 2022. But this is um this has been the most practical purchase for me because I use it so much. Uh, it's, it's become like a regular daily accessory in my life and it's virtually indestructible. I mean, it does have a little bit of leather just here and here, but everything else is canvas and a very sturdy one at that. I'm really happy that the inside of it is not, um, plasticky like, uh, the interior lining of the Poche Toilettes, 15, 19, and 26. Uh, this one has, a uh, synthetic acrylic or cottony type of lining so it's not going to degrade with time it's not going to you know become sticky with time so this thing is just awesome i know that they made these for travel purposes like to put socks underwear clothes in this one but i use it for makeup sorry i hit the mic but this one which the 25 Trousse Toilette, which they made for makeup, and it, it is plasticky on the inside. This one I use for clothes instead. Because I don't want spillage of powders, of, of creams, to kind of affect this plastic and deteriorate it with time and make it sticky. So there's that. Um, now, the next... The next one is awesome as well, and it comes in a set of three. The Kirigami Pouch which comes as a set of three, right? You get 
these three. So they are literally tiny clutches, like tiny clutch bags. Uh, most of the time I use the biggest one for my iPad mini when I travel, because as you can see, it fits perfectly in there. That's for the new iPad mini, right? But uh, this is great for cards. And this one is great for like touch up makeup if you need a lip balm, uh, if you need uh, tissues in here, or in some cases, if you have a really tiny disinfectant liquid gel, you can also put it in here, but just be careful that it doesn't spill. Um, but this is my Kirigami pouch, and they have different Vaketa leathers inside. So they're all lined in leather. The medium one has a gorgeous red. The small one has a burgundy, like a cherry burgundy. And the big one has a pale pink interior. They're really, really amazing. And I'm glad I got these. By the way, everything is made in France thus far, minus uh, two toiletry pouches that I showed you, the Poche Toilette 26 and 19 are made in Spain, but I do also have the 26 made in France, but I showed you the made in Spain one. And the 19, I only have one Poche Toilette 19 that was made in Spain, but everything else is, oh no, wait, this one is made in Italy. Tallulah is made in Italy, y'all. But everything, oh no, I, no, also the packing cube. I think all the packing cubes are made in Italy. Yeah, this packing cube is also made in Italy. Everything else was made in uh, France. These guys are also made in France. The next piece is a little beauty that I have to keep in its pouch because it's very delicate. It is the cosmetic pouch in multicolor that I've had for many, many years. And I, for those of you who follow my channel since a long time, you know, there was a time on my channel when uh, we didn't do live streams and uh, whoever had questions for me, we would do a kind of like, it was called the channel talk. And from time to time, I would collect questions that you guys had, and then I would write them down and put them in here. And then I would, you know, open this in a video and then I would take out uh, the questions randomly and read the questions that you had for me. So this was way back then. And uh, it's beautiful. Look at the gorgeous pink inside. It is so, so, so beautiful. So this is the Takashi Murakami moment. You know, I, I really, 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 really love this piece. And um, they don't make them anymore, you know, because they don't do the multicolor anymore. But. And I do prefer the white one to the black one. I know the black one is easier to preserve because white, you know, is really delicate. But it, it's just the colors pop so much better. You know, these whole logo situation, the little floral things, patterns, they pop so much nicer on white background than on the black background. It's just more saturated and illuminated. So this little beauty is still in its original pouch. I got this from Louis Vuitton directly. Um, it's made in France. And the year, where's my stamp? I cannot find the stamp. Y'all, I can't find the stamp. I don't know now where it is. It's probably inside the pocket, which is like, yeah, okay, found it. And uh, this one is from 2015. 2015, oh my God, how time flies. I still remember like it was yesterday, the day I bought this. I saw, so this one was produced in 2015. Oh, we're getting old. Anyway, moving on. I'm a vampire. I don't get old. So, um... The love of my life, for those of you who also follow my channel know, but here you go. This little beauty here, Takashi Murakami's Cherries Keep All 45 without the bandolier because they did not make it with a the bandolier. They only made it like this. Um, 
I take a lot of care for this one. I don't almost ever use it. <laughs> this one is archived and I just enjoy it. I wear it from time to time. I will not, I will not um, travel with this. This is kind of if I'm on the city, on the go, out and about, this is the one I wear. This is the one I would use. 45, it's big. It's like a weekend bag, but I mean, you you could you could get away with with it being a city bag. I mean, big bags are coming back in style right now. Compared to the 30, and I know this is a speedy, not a keep ball, but there is a difference. It's a, it's a substantial difference. It's 15 centimeters, you know. But also a very substantial difference between uh, the keep all 50 and the 45. You might think it's not, you know, just five centimeters. Mm, it's it makes a difference. <laughs> I mean. It's quite a difference. You know what I mean? This is more like you really feel like this is travel. Although this one, you can get away with it. Just, you know, going through the city with it. I do believe the 45. But just like with a lot of things with Louis that they've discontinued lately, they also don't do the, the key poles anymore without the bandolier. So this one doesn't have the bandolier. It's just handheld. They don't do them anymore. If you ask for a Speedy 45 uh, without the bandolier, they're like, no, it's we don't produce them anymore. You know, we don't make them anymore. So this is kind of double rare because it doesn't have the bandolier and because it has the cherries. Now, let's look at the cherries while we're at it. Takashi Murakami's cherries. Can I just, I mean, can we talk? This is just amazing. Look at them. Ah, and also at the bottom, how this vaqueta has patinaed. Honey, honey. It is a, it has a little bit of stains at the top, but compared to the brand new one, You can see the difference in color. This is the cherry and this is the brand new one. So you see it's not darkened yet. It's still very light, right? But also the vaqueta back then had a better consistency. It just it's 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 more buttery to the touch, you know, than than they than they are today. Today they're a little bit more grainy, more porous. You see more grain in today's vaqueta but the 2005 or 2004 you know the early 2000s it is it's a different story a completely different story so buttery soft oh my gosh like it's a dream literally a dream so anyway that would be that but also here i have Another uh, wonderful bag that I was just added to my collection very late in the game. In fact, I'm dressed differently for this part of the video because I'm filming it later because this bag was purchased after I shot the video. So this is the Jacob from the future mixing in with the Jacob from the past to deliver you the Jacob of the present. But this is the other bag that I just uh, purchased towards the end of 2022. It is a Noe BB in monogram canvas with the vaqueta leather brand new i've just unboxed it i personally like to carry it open not pulled it does remind me of a gabriel bag and when you pull it together it looks like a gabriel backpack so actually the other way around the gabriel backpack looks like the bb noe or the noe bb and the gabriel bag looks like a noe bb when it's open so when you wear this crossbody you know with the hard bottom ASMR and the soft top totally the Gabriel bag was is totally ripping off the, the Noe and as we know the Noe came from the 30s 
not in this size, but the regular Novi's from the 30s. So who copied who? Chanel, I see ya. But anyway, the Noe BB is basically the latest acquisition in my collection. I'm kind of obsessed, which means yeah, I'm probably going to have to add another video <laughs> because sooner than later, I'm probably going to get the big Noe as well. But uh, knowing me, I get obsessed with these things. But anyway, what do you guys think? Um, you can pull the little strings and turn it into that kind of harmonica, uh, accordion type of, more accordion than harmonica. You know, you kind of pull it together. It has a, well, anyway, I don't wear it that way. I'm. You can see my review of this bag where you also get a little quick tutorial on how I weave the leather strap through the bag so it doesn't hang uh, out on any side of the bag if you want to wear it open yes it's a bit risky people can you know you got to wear it always in the front crossbody not in the back that's what she said but um i did not own any louis vuitton bucket bags up until now and this is the first one so now back to the Jacob from the past and the last bag on my list for my collection is this little beauty here, my Louis Vuitton fanny bag. This little beauty is quite delicate, actually. I don't use it often because I'm terrified that the canvas here and there might crack with time, but I should use it more because I really, really love it. Um, I got this from the first batch. So the first year that this one was made, I think 2018. That was the year uh, that this one came out. And the second issue, I kind of, ha I, it's not an issue really, maybe a bit of an issue, is that this canvas, when it, you know, I don't wear it around my waist. I wear it crossbody, usually like this. It doesn't breathe. I mean, it's pure plastic. So when it stays here, I kind of sweat, you know, it really creates that it overheats you. So you have to kind of keep moving it because obviously, you know, so sometimes you just, oh, wait, I have my camellia here. So you, you know, I would wear it like this a lot, but also on the back, but then on the back, somebody can pull the zipper, open it and steal stuff. So you're always very conscious <laughs> when you wear something like this. But I do love it to bits. Uh, and I know that a lot of people, when this bag came out, bought it and then sold it relatively soon after they, they purchased theirs because they found that it wasn't that practical after all. I'm not that person. I kept mine and I love it like I just got it. Oh, it's interesting to see how it's patinaed on the top, but then when you flip it underneath, it's not patinaed because it's touching the, the canvas. So this one is made in France. The made in France, I think it, the, the um, stamp of the actual little tab is inside right there. There it is. So, also another delicate moment of this particular bag is this little zipper flip thing. You got to always lift this up to close the zipper. Otherwise, you might damage the fold right here by always pulling open and closed the fanny bag. So this one is, it's delicate, you know, it was one of their first fanny bags, like, and that whole, you know, Stranger Things just happened in 20, what, 16, 17, and then... The 80s were back and then Louis Vuitton came, you know, back with a fanny bag. This is like very reminiscent of the 80s, early 90s. And it was kind of their first redesigning a fanny bag. And I do believe that uh, they've had fanny bags before, don't get me wrong, but kind of doing this full on monogram fanny bag. So I do believe that the design could have been done a little bit better. Uh, and I think maybe they've perfected it thus far with like fanny bags that came out after this one, right? Um, so it's not like this is the best design ever, but with it, considering all of its flaws, you know, this being delicate, um, these parts being delicate, <laughs> I still love it. 
what can I tell you? I did not want to sell mine, and it still looks brand new because I don't wear that often. But here, that's another one of my loves. So this would be my entire Louis Vuitton bag collection. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, just looking at them here brings me so much joy. I'm I'm such a fan of monogram, and I don't know if for you. This video <laughs> changed your mind and made you think if you didn't like Monogram before. Oh no, maybe Monogram isn't that bad. I think it's super cool. I think if you're going to go for Louis, if you're going to go Louis, go all the way. You know, like this is Louis to me. <laughs> let's, let's put a couple of them together so you get a moment. You know what I mean? Let's do, let's do a moment here, shall we? Look at these little beauties. I mean, ah, uh, the... Oh, the glitz and the glamour. The glitz and... Okay, thumbnail time. Hold on. Oh, let's do a little thumbnail moment here. There you go. That might turn into... You never know. It might turn into the thumbnail of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And what would be your favorite Louis Vuitton bag from your collection? Or... If you've seen one you like here, which one would be your favorite from this collection? Thank you guys so much. Until next time, never forget to never give up on love and subscribe. Bye.